Ready? In gear. Taking off. To whip this way atop the water, it sure doesn't hurt to be youthful, lean, and limber. And the way Elgin Faulkner sees it, two out of three ain't bad. I don't feel that old, so what the heck. <laughs> Especially when love for the sport runs as long and deep as your 77 years of living. I never had any idea that I'd still be skiing, but I never had the idea that I would even be breathing. <laughs> okay, here we go. And yet at just three short of four score, the longtime Houstonian is the reigning national champ at climbing aboard a pair of boards and getting airborne. I've never been good at landing. My landings are just terrible. Okay. You got another one in you? Yeah. But good enough to earn the gold and ignite a desire to mount a title defense. I think another 10 years anyway. I don't really know, but you know, every time you go out there, you think this could be the last, but that's, that's not my plan, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's the kind of never quit competitive compulsion that clicks with fellow Houstonian and four-time national champion, Paul Risch. A trick specialist just six years shy of social security himself. Elgin is my hero. I look up to him, he's my role model. And that's like the reward for being old, you know. <laughs> I'm his inspiration because I'm older than he is. <laughs> My goal is to be where he is at 77. And Paul will likely pull it off. You could call his high-speed collection of intricate tricks the work of a controlled kamikaze. The mastery of a single maneuver, a blend of passion, and the dogged, sometimes dangerous pursuit of perfection. 400 times I got knocked unconscious twice. <laughs> And it's called fun. <laughs> a commitment made even more colossal by a head snapping confession. I can't swim. You can't swim? No, I can't swim. No. I have flunked <laughs> swimming lessons. That's pretty good motivation to stay up on your ski. Yep. For high end bean counter and retired manufacturer, Skiing the water daily has evolved well beyond workout to a way of life. Embracing the roar of the engine, the tug of the rope, and the exhilaration of one more ride. Just something that beckons to you, you just gotta do it. Will there ever be a point when you stop pushing? Yeah, after I'm six feet underneath the ground. Until then, they'll surrender gladly to the lure of a glimmering lake. Ann Huffman, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.